Thank you for joining me on this learning journey. Today we're going to be talking about how to announce a trick and what happens if there are no tricks that you can make. So as far as complexity goes, I tend to think of Fabidiffy as more of a quote unquote easy game compared to other Division 3 games like Stars and Bars. Uh, and that's just because it's a rather simple game, even though you don't get to use a pencil, a pencil and paper for your calculations. But there are a few challenges that your opponent should be looking out for and that you should be looking out for um, about the smallest little things. Uh, but because it's a game that's based so heavily on luck and what cards you draw, you don't want to miss out on a trick just because uh, you made a mistake and got challenged for that small little mistake. So that's why it's extremely important to make sure you have these rules in mind. And one of these small yet big rules is about announcing a trick. So how do you announce a trick and take the trick? So on our board here, there is a trick possible. Um, you could do 12 twelfths minus 3 fourths is equal to 3 twelfths. But how do you announce this? You have to touch and, and announce. So you can either touch and announce, so announce while you're touching it, or you can touch the fraction strips and then announce, then announce the equation. So just as an example, this is what I would do. I would do 12 twelfths minus 3 fourths is equal to 3 twelfths. And this is, I feel like, mostly to prevent your, um, you or your opponent going like this. 6 sixths minus 3 fourths is equal to 3 twelfths. Because most likely your opponent is going to be going, hold up, what did you do? You know, like... Because they want to make sure that you that your equation was correct, and that um, your move was a valid move. Because otherwise, you could just be randomly taking a trick, and you just did something, took fraction strips off the board without announcing it clearly. And that is why you need to remember to touch and announce, and it is challenging. So I would touch and announce, and then I can take these fraction strips off the board and onto my side of the game board. So suppose that was player A's turn. Player B now starts their turn. And one thing to remember is in Fabidiffy, there always needs to, these three center rectangles always need to be filled. So it would be the player's job to replenish the fraction strips like so. So player B has replenished the fraction strips. But can they make a trick? In this case, unfortunately, player B cannot make a trick. So our, our fraction strip from the show box would go into one of the unoccupied action rectangles and the flag card would be passed back to player A. Player A would then open one up. They don't have to replenish anything because the three center rectangles are already filled. Um, there is no, um, no way to make this fraction either. So there would be no trick. They would move this over, pass the flag card, This player would turn over this, and so on and so on, and so on and so forth. Now, I want to show an example of where there, 
is a trick, but the player does not notice it, then what happens? So, let me see. I want to get one out here that works well for that. Um, okay. Here, we can do this one. So, there is a trick that can be made here. It could be nine, uh, 11 twelfths minus 9, oh wait, no. Yeah, minus 9 twelfths is equal to 2 twelfths. And then they, um, but imagine that player A, whose turn it is, does not notice that. They think that there's no trick possible. Um, maybe there are just too many fraction strips on the board or they're just not able to find the trick. They don't notice this trick, so they just pass it on to the next player, assuming that there is no trick. So before the next player starts their turn, they can capture. So they can say, okay, this is the one in the show box, 11 twelfths, they could say capture, and then 11 twelfths minus 9 twelfths is equal to 2 twelfths. They pick it up, they take it, and the best part is, that was like an extra turn. So they still get to play their turn. They just put a new thing on the show box. So after that first 10 seconds of their turn where they were allowed to do that, they get to play their own their own turn, uh, and it goes on like that. So in this video we covered capturing a trick, what happens if there are no tricks that can be made, and also, um, and also how to announce a trick. So that's it for this learning, thank you for joining me. I'll really appreciate it if you leave your comments, feedback, questions, or further suggestions for additional learnings below. I'll see you in the next video.